Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play the Secret of Monkey Island. Last time, we made it to Monkey Island and we're kind of on fire here so uh, let's do something about that. There we go. And uh, let's take a look at this note here. Notice of public meeting. There will be a meeting Wednesday evening to discuss the recent occupation of the sacred monkey head by the ghost pirate LeChuck. So LeChuck is here. And the subsequent impact on the environment and the tourist trade. All Monkey Island cannibals are encouraged to attend. Um, there's cannibals here too. Great. Well, we probably won't have to deal with them. <laughs> uh, and, uh, let's take this banana. And there's a rowboat here, but it, we have nothing to roar it with, so, uh, not much use to us right now. So let's just, uh, head on out. see that the map is a lot bigger than it was for uh, Melee Island. Let's see what's over on this beach. Another note. It's printed on letterhead. To the ghost pirate LeChuck. We must ask you once again to curtail your nightly activities in the sacred monkey head area. Decent people are trying to sleep. <laughs> Kindly keep the noise level down. The Monkey Island Cannibals. P.S. We saw you taking that woman with the scarf down there. Hey, wait a minute. Look at that fabulous ship out there! Did you come in that? You're braver than you look. Actually, it looks a lot like a ship I used to own. Oh, well, as a matter of fact... Hey, wait a minute. What do you mean, braver than I look? be a jerk. Oh. Whatever, you're the jerk. Alright, what else is there to explore? Who does that? There it is. I have to click on a specific spot in order to get into walk faster. The trail ends here. And let's see what we got here. We've got a rope. Cool. Warning! Glass. Objects in spyglass may be farther away than they appear. <laughs> and it's cool rusty. Cannon. I don't think it'll work. Oh shoot! I can't pick that up. Oops. <laughs> Aha! Oh! Hey! Nice spyglass. Looks just like say. Where is my spyglass? We just keep oh, acquiring this perfect. guy's stuff, don't we? I'm gone five minutes and somebody comes in here and dumps gunpowder all over the floor. <laughs> Naturally, I don't think you had anything to do with it. I'm sure it's just a coincidence that you came in here to prowl around right after some mysterious person dirtied up my nice clean floor. I saw a monkey leaving here. He must have done it. <laughs> You don't fool me, Sonny. Are you some kind of a castaway? What do I look like? The caretaker? <laughs> Listen to this guy. Am I some kind of castaway? <laughs> Who are you? Me? My name's Toothrot. Herman Toothrot. I live here. Were you stranded? You think I stay here for my health? Oh boy! Yeah, we read about that guy, didn't we? So let's take some gunpowder. Get the cannonball. How he carries this stuff, I don't know. Like, adventure characters seem to have a TARDIS in their pocket or something. Just so much space, more than it would seem. Alright, so let's head off in this direction. Boy, it sure is hot here. Hmm, remember that, folks. Well, I'll check out this note while I'm at it. To the Monkey Island Cannibals. I don't mind you worshipping in front of the sacred monkey idol, which doubles as my home and secret base of operations. But could you please refrain from leaving messy sacrifices on my porch? Also, 
Please do not enter the monkey head. G.P. LeChuck. I love these notes. They sure are cordial, aren't they? Uh, let's see what's up here. Another note in this rock on a log. To the Monkey Island Cannibals. Please stop moving this. It is delicately balanced. Herman Toothrot. It is primitive art, that's what it is considered. Well, oh, whatever you say. Ooh, nice view. There's our ship. There's a cool little rock. Hmm, I wonder. I don't think I want it. Ah, I never get tired of this view, even if I have been looking at it for 20 years now. Even if it is the only view on the island. Yes, it is a nice view. Not too shabby. How did you get stranded here? Well, I sailed here with a friend of mine 20 years ago. We hoped to discover the secret of Monkey Island. But my friend met with a horrifying and tragic accident, which claimed his life. And I couldn't sail a ship back by myself. That sucks. I trained a bunch of chimps to crew the ship and sail it back to Melee Island. They were supposed to get help and come back for me. There's something must have happened. How come you didn't just go with the chimps? That's a good question. Weeks on a boat full of monkeys. Oh, ho, ho, joy! I'm fine. You're the only one on the island? I'm the only civilized person on the island. There's a native <laughs> tribe of hunter-gatherers. Well, head hunter-gatherers, actually. But I don't talk to them. They are cannibals, but they're not dangerous. Unless you lend them something. Did you lend something to the cannibals? I lent my banana picker to them, and they never gave it back. As collateral, they gave me this enormous cotton swab. It opens the big monkey head idol they worship. Not like I ever need to go into the monkey head. Hey, what but you if they want it back, the head? I've got to have my picker first. It's a matter of pride, you know. Why don't you just give me the key to the monkey head? No! I needed to get back my banana picker! What happened to your pants? What pants? Okay. I'm Guybrush. I'm here to rescue someone. Well, here I am. Glad you came to rescue me. Though you might have been a bit earlier. The find on that overdue library book should be pretty big by now. Let's go! Um, that's not exactly what I meant. Uh, I sailed here in pursuit of the governor of Melee well, Island, who's been kidnapped by a ghost. Oh, fine. Don't rescue me. I like it here. The rain on my head, the wind at my back, the bugs on my plate. Um... Well, perhaps I could take you back, too. But I've got to rescue the governor first. I think she's on that ghost ship underground. Oh, okay. I told you about them borrowing my banana picker and never returning it, right? Yes, yes. Excuse me, I've got some pressing business to attend to. Yes, me too. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm sure you do. Let's see what happens. Uh, that is not good. Whoops. So, yeah, that um, wasn't what I intended to do. Well, they kind of deserved it, you know, and it's already set back up. Look at that. How convenient. And there's another note. Mr. Toothrot. Please remove this dangerous object. 
Lemonhead knocked a rock onto it from the cliff above and nearly injured someone who was putting up a swing on the banana tree on the south beach. The Cannibals Alright, so let's see if we can't hit something nice while we're at it. Let's see. One more ought to do it. There we go. Yeah, about that ship thing, you don't actually have to hit the ship to complete the game, but it kind of changes the ending. Um, I prefer the ending where my crew, who didn't do anything for me, gets stranded. Or whatever. Well, you'll just have to see. I'll just put it here. And let's do this one more time. Wow! Looked like it hit the big banana tree on the beach. I bet the odds against that are incredible. Very true. And there's uh, one more thing we can do here. Boy, it sure is hot here. Let's see, what do we have here? And uh, if I can remember. Uh oh. What did we do? We created a pond. Uh oh. Well, I don't see anything special about it. is an old friend of mine, the one I sailed here with. He's lost weight. Never <laughs> looked better. <laughs> he looks pretty bad. You never saw him when he was still alive. <laughs> so what the heck happened to him? Like, I never, I, I've never been able to, like, if there's a vine tied to this log here, kept to him, do you try to hang himself, or what? Excuse me, I've got some pressing business to attend to. Yes, me too. <laughs> anyway, we got this rope here. He doesn't look good. No, he does not. And let's take a look at this. Note. Herman, please return our key to the monkey head. The cannibals. Now let's go check out that banana tree we have. We got a couple more bananas from it. Is that it? Yeah, yeah, that's it. Right, so let's head north. Another beach to visit. Bottle. There's a message in it. It's a memo. To Herman Toothrot. From Yammer, Hem, and Haw, Attorneys at Law. Regarding suit against Cannibal Tribe over malicious tossing of your oars into a chasm. I think we have a case here. We can probably soak them for emotional distress and possibly punitive damages as well. Hmm. Sounds like legalese. I don't think I can translate the rest. Yeah, they're cannibals on a desert island. What could they possibly have? It's a gross it? old bottle. I don't want it. Alright, I guess we can pick up the bottle. So let's go back to the jungle, explore some more. Oh, this clearing over here. Oh, this... Doesn't look ominous at all. That monkey head some piece of work, eh? Nasty case of yellow waxy buildup, though. <laughs> uh. 
Yes, it's quite impressive. It'd be a great tourist attraction <laughs> if anybody could ever find the island. Excuse me, I've got some pressing business to attend to. Yes, me too. <laughs> Let's uh, look at this head. Why, that's the second biggest monkey head I've ever seen. Wait, the second? Well, whatever. Anyways, um, that should do it for now. Goodbye, Herman. Um, so yeah, anyways, next time on The Secret of Monkey Island, we will see if we can find our way inside that monkey head and uh, try to, to uh, thwart LeChuck's plans and Maybe we'll meet some cannibals along the way, who knows. Anyway, thank you all for watching, and have a good day.